Tonight, Ukraine turning the tables on its invader with a cross-border incursion putting Russia on the defensive. Ukrainian forces releasing video they say show Russian troops raising white flags and surrendering at a border crossing in the Kursk region. Ukraine's military, trained and armed by American forces, pushing more than six miles into Russia, seizing territory, according to the U.S.-based Institute for the Study of War. We have supported Ukraine from the very beginning to defend themselves against um, attacks that are coming across the border and for the need for crossfires. Um, so they are taking actions to protect themselves. It marks the first time a foreign military has invaded Russia since World War II. How big of a deal is this? Well, I think it's a, uh, a huge stroke by the Ukrainians to achieve operational surprise. It was a blow to Putin and it changed the, the narrative of the war in Europe. Russian authorities releasing this footage of attacks on what they say are Ukrainian forces in the region, claiming a thousand Ukrainian troops crossed the border and that more than 300 were killed or injured. NBC News can't verify the figures. Ukrainian officials haven't officially acknowledged the operation. But President Zelensky tonight dropping hints, saying everyone can see the Ukrainian army knows how to surprise and to achieve results. The incursion coming as Ukraine has been losing ground to Russia, raising questions about how long it can hold on. Why would Ukraine want to take Russian territory? The Russian military, notwithstanding their massive size and their endless manpower compared to the Ukrainians, have been knocked back on their heels by this attack. So. In Russia, a state of emergency in the Kursk region, and thousands evacuated. Kremlin releasing video of President Putin speaking to the Kursk governor, <laughs> pledging 10,000 rubles, or about $115, to every Russian evacuated from the region. Russian and Ukrainian troops are again clashing tonight on the third day of this incursion, and 11 settlements are reported to have been captured. If confirmed, that would be more than 100 square miles of Russian territory now under Ukrainian control. Morgan? Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.